don't like how you had to reload your whole ammo. You can't just like put two bullets and then shoot the dude. It's not cool. right in the face. Alright, so the tornado's coming up. I gotta sprint and just like timed action sequences. Oh, what the fuck? That didn't feel good. Right, bitch. So it looks like your guy gets tired after a while. And I don't know how to regain sprinting. There's a thermostat right there I want to pick up. Should be. Oh shit. Run, bitch. Get inside. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Voice acting's decent, but the voice to lip movement, not so great. I thought I was driving that older brown car when I got in that car accident. So I don't know if this is like before. Well, the town looks pretty cool. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the back. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife, then. If you don't mind me saying that, I can't be, by the way, nice to meet you. Better not hit on my yeah, old wife, I'm Ellen old Wake. man. I won't pretend I don't recognize not a famous hit old man. writer such as Probably. yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host of the local radio station. Any chance I can get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact... I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be this one. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. <laughs> Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. See, you made a friend. That's cute. Right, damn. You got these. Yeah. Hey, Ben Seller, that was my favorite writer. Are you there yet? Barry. Yeah. We just got it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, 
Barry, we're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What should I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Practice. I guess I can't talk to that dude. He's the killer. <laughs> Throw him off. Stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up or you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes? Sure. <laughs> sink. Alan, thank you for coming. Microsoft, sink. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. 